case briefs and so much more. LS Data's got what you're looking for. In 2008, the Delaware Court of Chancery heard the case of McPadden v. Sidhu, which raised questions about the responsibility of a board of directors to act in good faith and take all available information into account when making decisions that impact the company, particularly in sales deals. The case also examined whether protections for individuals in an exculpatory provision could be bypassed in situations involving the breach of fiduciary duties. The lawsuit was brought by a plaintiff against I2 Technologies and its board of directors, accusing them of breach of fiduciary duty and unjust enrichment. The main issue was the controversial sale of a subsidiary to a management team led by one of the defendants for $3 million, allegedly lower than the subsidiary's fair market value, and approved with irregularities and a flawed fairness opinion. The plaintiff also claimed that the subsidiary's CEO, with the defendant's knowledge, took actions to reduce the subsidiary's earnings. The case was initially spurred by a Section 220 books and records demand, leading to allegations of two causes of action, breach of fiduciary duty and unjust enrichment. The case is currently in the motions to dismiss phase. The majority opinion distinguished between a breach of care and a breach of loyalty, suggesting that a board of directors could take foolish actions without necessarily acting in bad faith. Ultimately, the court granted the director defendant's motion to dismiss, but allowed the case to proceed against the management team leader for breach of fiduciary duty and unjust enrichment. The plaintiff's claims continued and motions to dismiss were denied. However, the director defendants were protected by an exculpatory provision in the company's certificate. The plaintiff had the right to prosecute the litigation on behalf of the company. If the plaintiff were to demonstrate that the same conduct led to both liability for breach of fiduciary duties and disgorgement via unjust enrichment, they would have to choose between these remedies. Case briefs and so much more. LS Data's got what you're looking for. Visit lse.law. Elevate your mind. Leave the stress of class.